Hello Pisces, I hope you are feeling fantastic today. So this is going to be your June 2024 reading, whatever it is that you need to know, um, advice, anything that could be helpful for you for your June 2024 for you to know. Um, we are going to be picking one Oracle card to get you started. We're gonna pick three tarot cards and then we're gonna conclude your reading with another Oracle card. So without further ado, let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's see what the heck blessings you're going to be receiving what you need to know let's see all right first card for pisces for their june 2024 spirit please and thank you for your guidance for your protection we love you thank you <laughs> okay three cards for pisces please for their june 2024 spirit three cards okay uno and dos y tres gracias and then we'll do boop okay so your first card is pisces you lucky sobs <laughs> um just kidding you know you're not a son of a bitch but i mean blessing cool <laughs> <coughs> excuse me okay blessing wow you're receiving a blessing for your June 2024, Pisces. How wonderful is that? Okay. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? A blessing. You're receiving a blessing. Get ready for a blessing for June. <clears throat> Fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. Okay. Let's see what your cards say to get a little bit more information about what this blessing is. What is this blessing? Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. So for some of you, this blessing is a partner that you you've been manifesting. It could be a twin flame, a soulmate, <clears throat> a business partner, um, a mentor, someone that will help you achieve something, somebody that will uh, help you achieve a dream, a manifestation, an intention, a goal, some kind of partnership. So yeah, like I said, for some of you, this could be a romantic partner, this could be a business partner, this could be a mentor, somebody that will assist you, somebody that will be assisting you with this blessing, or someone that is going to be <clears throat> associated with this blessing. Oh, fun. Okay, you also have the two of wands, so two of cups and two of wands. So there's something here that you're balancing Something that you've been working on, something that you've been thinking of. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, something that you've been working on, something that you've been working on to balance. Yeah, I feel like this is just something that has been, you've been working on for so long to get to the right moment where this blessing is able to come in for you. Okay, and it, it looks like that another person is involved, another person um, is helping you, or two people have the same kind of vision and have come together to make it happen together, okay? And then also, like I said, I feel like there's like a contract that's being signed, working with somebody, working with another company, uh, another company endorsing your company, another company endorsing your um, business, some kind of contract where two people are working together, two uh, components are working together um, to help you achieve something, Pisces. This is really cool. Let's see what your next card is. Okay, and then you have the Five of Swords. <clears throat> the Five of Swords. Interesting. You know what that made me think of? Um... <laughs> That made me think of almost like a video game or like a series in a, of a movie or a show where <clears throat> <clears throat> where it's like <clears throat> excuse me my goodness gracious um <clears throat> where you know in a show you have a situation where <clears throat> excuse me my goodness gracious can we please clear the throat that could be a a thing for you, uh, Pisces. Something about clearing the sh uh, throat chakra, clearing the throat. <clears throat> um, interesting. Clearing the throat. And then I just kind of looked at this person who's got a mask over his mouth. So 
something like not wanting you to speak is what I'm feeling like. Something not wanting this to prosper for you, but it's pro this is happening for you. You know, there's nothing that can stop this. I feel that very strongly for you, Pisces. Nothing can stop what you're creating, what you're building, where you're going. Uh, um, but yeah, I feel like there's something that's almost like trying to stop you from doing this and speaking out about it and talking about it and like because I feel like the speaking co coming from the mouth it's like a it's like a domino effect of like it's spread almost like a cough like if you cough like with an infection it gets around and I feel like something with the mouth like you're you're talking about it maybe you're um what, what's it called um yeah just like spreading your light with word of mouth spreading your light by talking about what you do and other people talking about what you do and then they're talking about what you do and i feel like there's something that's like trying to like cover this up like cover this like spread up <clears throat> and also like i said like i was feeling like this situation was like in a movie where sometimes you know a um okay so more i guess mortal Kombat is coming into my mind um where I don't know if any of you have seen like the Mortal Kombat movies, but like in the first one, like they have this situation where, um, what is it? Is it Shang Tsung? Some kind of like antagonist, right? The antagonist of the movie. Okay. Um, you had an antagonist of a movie and then at the end of the movie, Shang Tsung was defeated and it was like, woohoo, yay, everything's fine. But then at, at the end of the first movie, um, of Mortal Kombat, like the original one, you know, uh, that was made in the 90s. Um, <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Yeah, so at the end of the first Mortal Kombat movie, Shang Tsung was defeated, like the antagonist of the movie was defeated, and then in the end of the movie, they were celebrating, but then at the very, very end, a new antagonist kind of sprouted, and then, uh, it was like, oh, it got dark. It was like, oh, no, a new antagonist. But all of the fighters were ready. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling for you, um, Pisces, for your June 2024 is this, this feeling of, like, you defeating something, you becoming successful in a manifestation and receiving a blessing that you've been waiting for and that you've been wanting and that's going to be super, super fulfilling and exciting for you. But then with new, with new um, blessings and new... Um, yeah, new, new found power comes new antagonists, okay? But I don't feel anything super, like, worrisome about this. It's just, it just, it comes with the, what do they call it? It comes with the, it's just a thing. It's just, it happens. Like, there's levels of, like, things that you have to overcome and you are you are leveling up in your life which is super you should be super super excited about you will f I mean it's you're gonna feel very happy about this blessing but like with this blessing like be forewarned like it comes with a new antagonist you know it comes with new challenges and obstacles but you're ready for it okay I mean how can you not be ready for it you're just gonna keep moving up you're just gonna keep going up okay that's what you've learned that's what you're going to be really what's really going to be re reiterated to yourself is that like there's always going to be like this new like thing that's going to be a challenge for you but you are you're you're in the zone of like okay I've been sit I've been sitting in this one space for so long and I've finally broke through and moved up and it's just going to keep going up from there you're going to get used to the the um the the flow of moving up and up and then kind of tackling new obstacles and just getting through them okay so this is really i really am happy for you pisces this is looking really good for you and really exciting and oh my god just so proud i'm just so happy for you pisces i'm so like proud i feel so proud of you for what you've done for how far you've come and i'm super i feel like you deserve this blessing so much you does you deserve what you're receiving in june 2024 pisces congratulations to you um yeah because this is this is lovely <laughs> okay let's see what your oracle card is oh that's wonderful i mean that's beautiful it's so cool it's such such strength in this card i mean look at that i love big cats i love big cats and i love the panther i love the jaguar 
the black the big black cats i don't i mean i love all big cats but just the power in this the power the intelligence the wisdom the patience okay the patience in this wow like you've you've been crowned i feel like you've been crowned because of because you've matched the energy of this panther spirit and it says reclaim your power okay know your power remember your power you know you're powerful okay and utilize this energy embody this energy that is yours from here and moving forward because that's who you are you're powerful you're this remember that you are this panther remember that you are the panther spirit okay and then keep going you got it you got it pisces i mean that's what more can i say you got it <laughs> you got it you got this congratulations pisces i hope you enjoyed this reading that's all i have for you today if you like this reading please give it a thumbs up if you um, want to see more videos like this um, and you, you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel if you want a personal reading, you can email me. My email is down in the description box. If you resonated with this reading, please let me know in the comments. And that's all I have for you. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye!